Hi, Senior Girl Scouts. Today we're going to be talking about how to complete one of the steps in your Novelist Badge. So we're going to be talking about step number two, which is how to create a great character profile. So when you're writing a story, you want to make sure that your character has a lot of characteristics, things that make them unique. And when you're writing the story, the idea is that your character is going to face some challenges and chances are they are going to change in some way between the beginning and the end of the story. So I'm going to show you how you can start thinking about different ideas to make sure that your character is a well-rounded character. You're going to want to grab a piece of paper and a pencil and in the center of the page you are going to want to draw your character. You can draw a stick figure, you can draw a profile of their face, or what I will do is I will draw a circle and write the character's name in it. All right, so we are getting started. So I have my character, her name is Susie, and we're going to want to think about lots of different characteristics. So one thing is that she might be clumsy. but she might be adventurous. She might have a favorite color of blue. These are all important things to go ahead and add in. You could say that she tells jokes when she's scared. These are all things that are going to be coming off of her kind of like a, a chart and some of them might be connected. So she might be adventurous, but she's also clumsy and sometimes that can be difficult. She goes on a hike and might fall down. Um, or she could be a waitress and trying to serve some customers at the restaurant and she trips and their food falls on the ground. Any number of things, characteristics can lead to a whole storyline. You're going to also want to start to think about what does she like or what does he like or what makes them happy, what makes them sad, what is their secret wish, what are they most afraid of, what are they most proud of or ashamed of, what are their hobbies, what are their childhood memories. All of these things for us as people make us who we are, so we need to include that when we're creating our character. You're going to want to come up with different characters for your novel and each of them is going to need to have lots of characteristics to help make your story be very interesting to readers. So you can make one of these charts for your main character and have lots of bubbles coming out of it because the story is focused around that main character. And you might have some other characters who you make charts which might not be as elaborate or as in-depth because their whole story and who they are doesn't necessarily fit into the story you're telling. You might not need to know what their favorite childhood memory is, but it might be good to know that they're funny or they're really serious or they don't like being outside or they're not good at sports. All of those things are going to affect your character depending on the story. And it's good to have characters who conflict with each other uh, so that your story becomes interesting. Remember when you're writing your story, again, the character should be changing over time. The character comes across a problem, there is a climax to that problem, and then there is a resolution. So good luck writing your novel or starting writing your novel. The challenge is to write 20 pages of your novel. It could be the beginning, the middle, or the end. And if you're feeling really ambitious or bored during this quarantine, see how much you can actually write with your novel. I hope you girls have fun, and I would love to see and hear what you have come up with. So if you feel like sharing, share with us at GSCWM. I'll see you guys later.